Uh, today I'm going to be doing a, a little bit of a haul video. Um, I know I've been gone from the YouTube channel for a little while. Um, uh, for those of you who don't know, my day job, I am a chemistry professor, so I had a lot of end of the semester stuff going on. And then as soon as the semester was over, we left for Florida on vacation, and so it was kind of been pretty crazy the last couple weeks. So I apologize for being gone for so long. But I wanted to share some of the things that I got on vacation. Um, now, we did go to Florida. We went to St. Augustine. We spent one day in Orlando at Epcot. And then we also went to Melbourne. So um, I didn't buy anything in Melbourne, but I'm going to share some stuff from St. Augustine and also from Epcot. We're going to go ahead and start... Um, so I'll start with my Epcot purchase. We went to Epcot for my birthday, which was super nice, and we ate lots of food. Amazing food. Seriously, Epcot has the best food out of all the Disney parks. And my husband and I are big Disney nerds, so we wanted to go. So what I got in Epcot, I got a parasol, which you guys can see here. And this came from China. So it was made in China. But it's really pretty. I like the white color. I liked it had, you know, the flowers and the birds on there. Um, but I like that it was a white so it was neutral and it would match everything. So I'm really looking forward to using this this summer to shade myself and keep my complexion looking nice. Um, so that's what I got in Epcot. My other souvenirs were all edible. And I ate them. So um, I did post a lot of pictures on my Instagram. So if you want to see some uh, vacation pictures... You can go and check out my Instagram, which I will link down in the description box. Alright, um, and in St. Augustine, uh, the first thing that I got is more of a costuming thing. Uh, the store, this came from store called, uh, St. Augustine Textiles, and this is on St. George Street, which is the main kind of cobblestone-y downtown walking shopping area. Um, it is kind of like around to the back like off the street, um, but there is a sign on there and um, if I can find a website or something from them, I will link that in the description. But they had a whole bunch of costuming things. Um, St. Augustine is the oldest continuously occupied city in the United States, so there's a lot of history there. And this store, um, some of the things they had, they had a lot of reenactment things, particularly kind of Revolutionary War era, all kinds of things from sewing things. Um, dishes, quills, pens, anything that you would use for an impression. Uh, they did have some costumes. Uh, they also had fabric. They had wool and linen and oh, it was so gorgeous. But I restrained myself and I didn't buy any of the fabrics. But what I picked up was a little sewing kit and it comes in a little baggie. And it comes with a thimble. And a little leather thread holder with some thread on it and a pair of snips hand forged snips and it also comes with this guy which is a needle holder I don't know if you guys can see those little needles in there but anyways there's sewing needles in here and I got this tease at the Renaissance Festival this would be a good like emergency mending kit and it looks all like period. The other thing that I picked up there, I picked up some pins which look like this and um, these are more of an older style pin to wear um, to pin on like my sleeves and stuff to my renaissance dress. So um, historical fun fact of the day is that not all the time did older clothing have closures everywhere. It was socially acceptable to pin your garments closed and even uh, during certain periods to have those pins be visible. So, yeah. Next time that you have to safety pin yourself into something, you can feel better about yourself because you're following that long historical tradition of pinning your clothes shut. Okay. The next thing I got was my big splurge and um last time I went to St. Augustine about three years ago there was a really adorable little vintage shop and I just was kicking myself that I didn't buy something when I went um but it was kind of towards the beginning of when I was doing the vintage thing and 
I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. So I didn't end up buying something. So I knew for sure that I wanted to go back this time. And so I found them on Facebook and their vintage short is called The Way We Were Vintage Boutique. Alright. And um, I will leave a link to their Facebook page. They also have an Etsy shop. I've not checked out their Etsy shop, but I will leave a link to that as well if you guys can see what they have. Um, they had a lot of really cute stuff there. Um, they had, they didn't have a lot of like 40s and 50s clothes. They had a lot of 60s clothes, 70s clothes, 80s clothes. Um, they did have a menswear section. I didn't really look at it, but it was there. What they did have was hats everywhere. Oh my goodness. Um, everything from like early 1900s through like 50s and 60s hats. They had some of everything. They had some gorgeous hats. I really wanted to buy some of those hats. But I restrained myself because I have lots of hats. They also stock some reproduction, and that is what I ended up purchasing. I got this dress. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. And it's from Pin Up Girl Clothing, which is really nice because I hate buying things off the internet, especially from a new brand if I don't know if it's gonna fit. So this is a dress. See if the tag tells us what what. No, it doesn't say what um, the name of the style is, but they do have this uh, style of dress still on the on their website, and it comes with this little velvet bolero. Which comes with a little black velvet, and the cool thing is there's a button on the other side, so it's completely reversible, so you could wear it this way also which is super cute and I was really excited to get it the fabric I just thought was gorgeous this print it's like um oh uh, what's it called it's very 50s print the um crap I can't remember what the type of fabric is called bar cloth it looks like a vintage bar cloth print and it was a bee something it's got these gorgeous roses on it and this little faux detail and it fit me which was amazing. Uh, they also had a lot of Bernie Dexter dresses. But I know from past experience that Bernie Dexter dresses will not fit me unless I take them apart and put them back together. And if I'm spending over $100 on a dress, I don't want to take it apart and put it back together. So that was what I ended up picking from the way we were vintage. The other thing I want to show you with you was technically a pre-vacation purchase, but it was a for vacation purchase and it's from a company that I love and I've been wanting to share about and that are these gorgeous earrings hopefully the camera will focus on them focus on the earrings there we go with these lucite earrings with the little seashells in them and they are from Sparkle Lux and that's what she did she makes a reproduction um a confetti lucite earrings and I do have two other pair from her. Actually, get them right here. These are my other two pair. You can see one's pink with a starburst, and this one is blue with kind of a gold confetti in there. It looks really cute. It reads very teal. So it's pretty awesome. Um, but I had to have a pair of these little seashells and this was a last minute purchase uh, usually for her they're um, custom order so they do take uh, I think four to six weeks maybe maybe it's four only four weeks um, to make but she had a pair that was ready to ship right before my trip and I was like oh seashells I have to wear them to go to the beach mm -hmm. so I had to have these and they're fabulous um so she has an Etsy store which I will link she also has started doing wholesale I know she has them at pinup girl clothing and a couple of other places online too so these are super awesome um, and they're just gorgeous and my bird is grumpy so that is my vacation haul so I hope you enjoyed this let me know if you like these kind of haul videos and I will see you guys later.